The second proper Justice League movie, Zack Snyder's one, teased us with a lot of good news regarding the future of the franchise. There were a lot of setups for a sequel, one we still haven't got any news about, but also some characters that could come along with it. So with everything still in limbo, let's talk about some of the exciting things about the sequel as things are standing right now. Despite the underwhelming theatrical release, Zack Snyder's Justice League will inevitably get a sequel, whether it is with him at the helm or another dude sitting in his chair. The Justice League is the biggest possible team-up of the DCEU so far, so Warner Bros. will somehow make it work if they have to, and that is probably one of the reasons why they started the crossover films, and even more focus was thrown towards standalone movies. The theatrical cut did not meet the expectations with the movie being financially unsuccessful and was seen as an underwhelming movie by the critics and the viewers as well. Zack Snyder's take on the movie, on the other hand, got out as a more successful take on everything, with DCEU creatives like Patty Jenkins and Jason Momoa seeing it as the canonical iteration of the Justice League. The movie teased plot threads that if it were for the DCEU to continue, they would need to be taken into consideration and tightened up. And with that in mind, despite some saying that this might have been Zack Snyder's final film, we think that he will gather the strength to come back and see things through for at least one more Justice League movie, the one we are in grave need of having. Zack Snyder's Justice League ends with a setup for a sequel. There are no two ways about it. Zack joined the DC Universe with Man of Steel who envisioned a multi-film arc for the character of Superman, the formation of the Justice League, and Dark Seed's invasion. After him leaving the project, he was back again to deliver his side of the story, an action that brought to us the four-hour-long R-rated version of the story of the Justice League movie, with everything pointing towards the possibilities of what could happen next after the movie. A sequel, we presume. Both Warner Bros. and DC Films had plans for a sequel of the movie even way back in 2014. <laughs> However, as it stands right now, the sequel is no longer in active development, at least not with Snyder. Maybe there is another figure working on the project behind the scenes. Whatever the case may be, we have not heard a single thing about it. Maybe in the upcoming weeks or months, there will be something for us to be excited about regarding the DCEU and the Justice League as a whole. As we said before, it looks like a sequel is just plainly needed for the DCEU to continue. And even though there is nothing on the topic, and it may seem like a distant possibility, it doesn't mean that Zack Snyder has given up hope in the franchise, who said in 2021 that at that time, he had no plans for the continuation of the world despite his original plan about the movie having a lot going on for it. However, he also added that he never thought that he would be back to deliver to us his take on the movie. So, anything is possible. Thus, we can certainly imagine Zack Snyder returning to DC, maybe for a sequel to his beloved Justice League, or even for another project. We think that we have not seen the last of him when Warner Bros. and the DCEU are taken into consideration. The Snyderverse is a thing, and after Darkseed's inclusion in the remake of the movie, which was also one of the biggest differences between the remake and the theatrical cut, everything got a little bit more real. The movie saw Darkseed leading the Apocalypse Army in its original invasion on Earth thousands of years ago, with it being unsuccessful due to the combined power of humanity, the Amazons, the Atlanteans, and all of the others. In the second attempt, Steppenwolf also fails to overtake Earth, and Darkseed can catch a glimpse at what stopped him, with him seeing the entire Justice League assembled waiting for him on the other side. In addition to Darkseed teasing a sequel to the movie, the movie itself also teases what would happen when he arrives, a thing we will probably get to see on the big screen for the sequel of the movie, if it even releases in the first place. One other key piece for the sequel would be the nightmare future that was showcased in the first movie with the entire Justice League possibly set in the nightmare future as well. Planned for the third Justice League movie, this future was set in the timeline, 
in which Darkseed has already conquered Earth and won. However, the sequel might be the place in which we get more from this future, as it could showcase Batman's newly formed team and evil Superman, with Batman's new team consisting of Cyborg, Flash, Mira, Deathstroke, and Joker, the group of people that are supposed to be the last resistance to Darkseed who, after the death of Lois Lane, manages to turn Superman to his side using the anti-life equation. This way, we can see Superman hunting the last of them, with Bruce Wayne's nightmare ending with Kal-El locating them after all this time. When we look back at it, Zack Snyder's Justice League is full of teases about other heroes and characters who could appear in the sequel. One of the most direct setups is in the likes of Martian the Manhunter joining the Justice League, who has been a part of it in the DC Comics for quite a while. The movie also confirmed the fact that the shape-shifting alien hero is in fact General Swanwick. Martian visits Bruce at the end of the movie to offer his abilities for the good, as he has been so long in the shadows and is ready to help in whatever threats come to Earth next. Another hero who could be of use is the Green Lantern, and even though Zack said that they were never set in stone at the early stages of his movie, he has thought a lot about Hal Jordan coming to Earth, which might seem very possible judging by the shift to the nightmare-focused story. The Atom was not in the theatrical cut, but Zack set the stage for him to appear with Ryan's choice transformation into the character in the potential sequel. However, one of the biggest further setups for a sequel can be found in the likes of The Flash's ability to time travel, which was teased with Superman's revival. With Barry Allen forced to go way beyond what he has done in the past to save the world, Flash's speed and ability to time travel could be one of the details that will make the most difference moving forward. With Zack Snyder teasing that the fact that the Flash could possibly use the cosmic treadmill that amplifies his powers and in that way him to go back in time, which would also connect him to his cameo appearance in Batman vs Superman, a moment that would potentially lead to Batman finding some kind of way and prevent the nightmare's future even happening in the first place. So with everything said, the big question still lies ahead of us, whether the Justice League sequel will happen. Well, even if the studios and Zack Snyder come to an agreement that a sequel should be made, one of the toughest things would be to do it logistically, as the movie would include some of the biggest stars in Hollywood right now, so scheduling could become one of the biggest threats the sequel would face. Then there is Ben Affleck, who would have to be convinced to put on the Batman suit for an extended period of time. Only time will tell if Justice League 2 will ever happen, and all the excitement it would eventually bring with it. However, it will be a few years before that happens. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the two versions of the first Justice League movie? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.